So now we basically know how to run the Eureka server. And if you can see here, uh, we have our Eureka server running. And then we have ran only one particular project, which is your question service. But then we, have, we are running two instances here. One on port number 8081, and second is your default port number, right? And then we have also made sure that the service name is this, which is question service, right? Now what I will do is I will go back to my quiz service here. So if you can see we are into question service, let's go back to our quiz service. Now this is where we were running the project, right? So if you go back here, in fact, we are not running the project, we are making the changes. And the problem here, when we say create quiz, I want to uh, get the questions from the question service, right? So we want the communication between these two. So the first step is done. Now we got a Eureka server. So basically the services can search about each other. Uh, in fact, the quiz service can search question service. Why this is not possible is because, I mean, we are not doing it yet, is because the quiz service, we have not enabled the Eureka client, okay? So it is not registering itself. Uh, but we'll do that in some time. But if you go back to your quiz service, this is what we were doing before, and now we want to use the question service. Now to achieve that, we need to use some REST template. We have talked about this before, right? Because how will you send requests to the question service? So we can use REST template, but then for that you have to mention uh, the IP address, port number, and all the other stuff. What if you can use some shortcut way to search the service? Now one of the shortcut is to use Fing. So there's a concept of open Fing, or the Fing, uh, which is a client which you can use here. Now what Fing says is, you do, instead of you handling everything, all the IP address and port number, or all the configuration, you tell me which service you want to connect to, I will connect it for you, okay? That sounds good, right? So the way you can do that is, first of all, you need to create a Fang interface. Now, I will do that in the general package. Of course, you can make it some in other packages. Let me just create a package here, and I will name this package as Fang. Okay, and inside this, I want to create a file. Now, this is a file which helps you to connect your quiz service to the question service. Now, if you try to understand what are the things we want to use from the question service, only three things, three particular methods. Uh, so basically, we want to generate the questions. Second, we need to get the questions for a particular ID. And the third one is get score. We just need to call those three methods, right? All the other methods which are there in the question service will be used only for that service. But then between the quiz and the question service, I want these three methods. So what I will do is I will create a simple interface. And the point to remember is we need to create the interface. So the interface name, you can have uh, anything. And let's say this is the quiz interface. And now how do you make sure that you have Fang here? So you have to use an annotation, which is the Fang client. But the problem is you can see it is not importing is because uh, we don't have the dependency yet. So what you can do is you can just go to your XML file and this is where you need to uncomment this part. So this part need to be uncomment. And also we'll also what we'll do is we'll set the Eureka client ready for this. Uh, anyway, we are changing, making the changes, right? So let's enable Eureka client and the Fang both. And this is done. So you can see now Fang package is there. So now if I go back here and if I say control space, you can you can you can see we got the package. Let's import that. That's the first step. In fact, the second step. The first step is to add the dependency, the second step is to add this annotation here. Now in this annotation, you have to mention which service you are connecting to. So basically this Fang client here, will uh, we have to mention which client, or what's the name of your service. Now the name of the service is mentioned in the Eureka server. So if you can see in the Eureka server, the name is question service, right? This is what we want to use here. So in double quotes, I can mention question service. In fact, everything should be in caps. So that's question service. And once we've done, once we have done that, the next thing you have to mention is those three methods. Of course, right? When you say a quiz, particular quiz service need to access the question service, we need to mention which services we are going to access or which methods we are going to call. Now, how will you get those three methods? It's very simple. What you can do is you can just go back to your question service and these are the three methods. So again, all the other methods we don't want. We just need to focus on these three methods, right? So what I can do is I can get these things copied from here and go back to our quiz service and paste it here. Now, of course, this is an interface, right? And we are defining methods. We don't want it. The actual definition will be there in the question service. Here, we just need to declare them. Not defining, 
just declare. Same goes here. We are not defining the methods. We are just saying that these are the methods which we have, which we can use. Okay, and then this part as well. Let me remove this part and put a, a semicolon. And then we have to import the packages as well for the question wrapper and for responses. So that's it. These are the only change you need now, right? So now by doing this, we are basically saying, hey, quiz service, if you want to connect to the question service, I will help you. So Feng basically searches for this thing. It will help you to connect to the question service. But also, if you want to use this particular feature in your questions question service, we need to create this object. I mean, we need to use this reference. So where do I use this? We, let's go back to quiz service. And here, we don't want the question DAO, right? But we need the quiz interface. So quiz interface. And we'll say, let's say quiz interface. And we have to auto-wire this. Okay, now whatever call you want to make. So initially we were thinking we will be using REST template to make the calls to the question service. We are not going to use REST template. We are going to use this quiz interface to make the calls. Now, how do you make the call? So let me remove all these things here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the questions, right? And we don't want actual questions. We just need IDs, if you remember. So what we can do is we can create a list of integers and we'll name this as questions. And then we can use the quiz interface to call a method, but which method? So if you go back to your question service and who is responsible to give you the questions, so you can see this method, which is get questions for quiz is returning you a list of integers, right? Now this is what we want. So let's go back to our quiz service and we can say quiz interface dot get questions for quiz. And you have to pass two things, the category and the number of questions, right? That's what we, we are getting from here. And that's it. What you will get is list of integers. Okay, but the problem is it will give you response entity, right? We want only the list of integers. So we can say get body. So basically uh, in the question service, we have mentioned that we are going to return uh, the response entity. So what we'll do is we'll just say get body so that you will get list of questions. And then based on these questions, let's create a quiz. And for that, I will create a quiz object. I will say quiz quiz. Let me import the package. I mean, of course, the same thing we have done before as well. And if you remember, I've deleted that code, so we have to write it once again. Uh, so let's set the title for this because that is something we got from the user. And the title goes as title. Now it's time to set the questions. So I will say quiz.set questions. Now set questions will accept the list of integers, right? So I can simply say questions. We just need to make one change which we forgot to do before is in the quiz, now when we are saving the questions, we are not saving the actual questions. This is something we need to change we are basically saving the integers, right? So the change we have to make is not questions, uh, it's not questions, but question IDs. And then we are not submitting the questions, we are submitting only integers. Now, when you change this, initially it was questions, right? But this time we are going for uh, the IDs, right? Now, in this case, when you only have numbers, we cannot go for many to many. What you do is in database, we use something called element collection. So when you have uh, numbers or a specific type, which is only one, so you can use element collection. But yes, if you have a entity type or different table, then many to many makes sense. Now going back to quiz service here, I think it should work now. So set questions, there's still some problem. I think in the quiz service, no, so set questions are not working. Oh, okay, the name is changed, right? So it's not set questions, but set question IDs. That's what IDs, and then this will take questions. Now, once that is done, it's time to save the quiz in the database. So what we can do is we can use our quiz DAO, and we can say save, and what we want to save is the quiz, and done. We are saving the quiz. So what we have done here is we wanted to create a quiz, but then if you want to create a quiz, you need to request to the question service, right? Now, question service will give you the questions. And that's what we have done here. And the way you can interact between these two services and the way you can, your quiz service will ask question or ask for something to the question service is with the help of Feng client, which we have done here. We have specified the annotation there. And we can access these three methods, which we are trying to do. We are using only one method here, which is get questions. And yeah, once you got the question, we created the quiz and we were able to save the quiz. 
We have not tested it yet, but I'm thinking it will work. So let's only test this part, which is, well, let's ignore all the other one. Let's only uh, think about this create quiz. And to achieve that, what I can do is I will just run this code once. Okay, there's one more thing. If you want to enable the quiz, uh, the faint client, we need to mention here, enable faint clients. I think that's the only change we need. Uh, let's run this. I hope this will work. Okay, there's a problem. It says it is already in use. Okay, so we forgot to do one thing. In the application properties, in fact, we forgot to do two things. So when we are using the Eureka server, uh, we need to use a name. So I will say this is my quiz service. Uh, the next thing we have to mention is a port number, right? So by default, it is using 8080, which is used by something else. So let's use 8090. That's the port number we are going to run this. And things look cool. Let's run this. And here we go. You can see that this is running on 8090. So that's good. Let's go back to our browser where we have our Eureka server running. You can see it says only one server or one service running. But after refreshing, you can see we have quiz service as well. So now both the uh, application or both the microservices have registered themselves to the Eureka server with different names. One is a question service, which has two instances running, and one is a quiz service. But now we are saying that we want to run the generate quiz. How do we do that? So basically, if you want to do that, we need to pass the quiz DTO data to make it work. Now, how do we do that? That we'll see in the next video.